All right, so the Samsung Galaxy Watch series, specifically the one I have, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, offer incredible features and the most highlighting feature being the ability to record your blood pressure and your ECG. There's probably no other smartwatch which can offer you these kind of features. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can go about in calibrating your Galaxy smartwatch to be able to record your blood pressure to keep tabs on your heart health. You're watching Travel Tech. Let's get started. So if you do have a Galaxy smartwatch and if you want to record your blood pressure, it doesn't just go about recording it straight away. You need to calibrate your smartwatch before you actually make those measurements. So in order to calibrate your smartwatch, you need to have a digital blood pressure monitor even before you actually have a smartwatch. So you have to take actual measurements from the blood pressure monitor and enter the readings into your smartwatch about three times so that your smartwatch gets calibrated and it can take blood pressure measurements from the next time onwards without using the digital blood pressure monitor. So before you go about calibrating the smartwatch, it does give out some important instructions on the app. So you need to connect the smartwatch to the app and within the app, it gives you all the instructions which you need to follow in order to calibrate the smartwatch. It gives you all the do's and the don'ts before you actually start doing it. It also provides some small mini clips showing you how you have to wear the cuff and specifically it's important that you wear your smartwatch snugly and of course also you have to wear the armband on the arm opposite of the arm where you're wearing the smartwatch. In case if you're wearing the smartwatch on your left hand, you need to wear the armband on your right and otherwise. So this is an also important feature and if you have followed all these steps properly, you need to go about in starting the blood pressure monitor and waiting for it to make a measurement. Also do note that the smartwatch also begins starting to measure your blood pressure just about the time you start up the blood pressure monitor. So the smartwatch will start tracking your heart rate and your BP once you start up the blood pressure monitor and once the monitor reaches a certain point where it gives you a reading, the smartwatch also stops measuring and asks you to enter the blood pressure shown on the display into the app. So once you've connected the app, you need to enter the systolic and the diastolic blood pressure readings of the display within the app. And now you need to do this two more times. So basically you have to follow this entire process three times so that you calibrate your smartwatch properly to your particular hand. And of course, Samsung also recommends that you do not change hands once you've calibrated. So this means this works only for you and only for your hand and it is specifically calibrated for that specific position. So if you're trying to check the blood pressure of somebody else at a later point of time, you need to make sure that you calibrate the smartwatch to that particular person and you can't just straight away go about measuring anybody else's blood pressure as and when you like it. Also another thing to note is that Samsung recommends that you calibrate your smartwatch every 28 days or once in a month. So this means that if you have calibrated your smartwatch once to measure the blood pressure, that doesn't mean you can do it for the rest of your life. You need to calibrate or should I say recalibrate your watch every single month in order to give you a more accurate reading. So this means you will need to have a digital blood pressure monitor right with you always so that you are able to calibrate it. So the BP measurement or the blood pressure measurement on your smartwatches is just a reference indicator and not the accurate indicator of the real time blood pressure. You must and always should consult a doctor if you find the readings to be too varied and get a real time, a real handcuff based blood pressure test done rather than relying your entire decision on a smartwatch reading. As I said, the smartwatch is only for reference and not to diagnose any disease and not to jump to any conclusions based on the reading the smartwatch gives out. But nevertheless, these features are really helpful and handy to those people who need to monitor the blood pressure and ECG regularly or even to regular people who just like to keep tabs on their health and just like to keep tabs on your heart. So that's it, a very simple and a easy way to calibrate your smartwatch to be able to do what probably no other smartwatch can ever do for you. Monitor your BP and also monitor your ECG. This was the special video for today and if you did like this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. 
Also, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook, Insta, and the WhatsApp page. The links to those are given in the description as well. If you have any queries or doubts regarding the Galaxy smartwatch, you can always write that down in the comments below. Also, do note, guys, that the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic LTE version is trending at a very super cool discounted price of close to eight to nine thousand rupees. And if you're interested in purchasing this smartwatch, and if you also want to monitor your BP and ECG, go ahead, click down on the description. You will find the purchasing right there. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.